I was there in 1988 when I stole 93 bass. I always got to believe in yourself that, you know, you're not going to get picked off. And when you run, you're going to be safe. And I believe that so much that, you know, I feel that, you know, when I'm out there and when I steal a bass, it's not a pitch can uh, throw me out. Well, I tell you the thing about Ricky, he's the best, obviously the best bass stealer in the, in the world. It was a fantastic year. I was, uh, my goal was to steal 100 bases. Ricky Henderson's 93 steals was something that it seemed like he could do whenever he wanted to. Ricky was going to steal bases, and you just hoped that you kept him in, in the part of the game when it really wasn't going to hurt you. And you can't practice stealing bases. You have the God-given ability to do what you can do with your speed. When I stole 93 bases with the Yankees, you know, I, I felt inside that, you know, it, it, it couldn't be a, a catcher that can throw me out. People didn't realize how much he studied the other guys, he, how much he studied the pitchers, and how much time and effort he put into that, psychologically and physically. His whole persona and that whole deal, I think, had a lot to do with how he studied tendencies and what, what opposing pitchers did. The techniques based upon the four is me stealing the bases and going into second base or third base real, real, real hard. I think I, I, I developed the, the skill of fours of being a hit first slide going into the base. Based upon, I think it was uh, maybe in 1982, I was on a plane. It was a rough wind and the plane was just bouncing up and down the, the, the sky. And I was really kind of getting scared. I woke me out of my sleep, got scared. And then the pilot seemed like he got the plane under control and he landed with no problem and no bouncing, no, he was a smooth, smooth uh, landing. And, and so I went and when I was getting off the plane, I went to the pilot and asked him, how did he make that, that landing so smooth? And, uh, and, and, and he told me that the, the closest he got to the ground and he leveled out, that's what make you not bounce the plane. So based upon, I went back to the field the next day and tried to develop on was me to protect my body from just diving, bouncing, or uh, banging up the body. How low can I get to the ground before I slip? Having a great season with the Yankees, developing based on when I was with Oakland. And then I got the opportunity to play for Billy Martin. And Billy Martin uh, saw me as a player. He liked the way I uh, approached the game, where I you know, went out about my business for us and playing the game real hard and giving, giving him the best that I can give it that day. You, you got to understand one thing. He was a good base stealer. And the Sun Gun had a strike zone about this high when he was first came up, when he got down in that crouch, when his when his shoulders were about a foot above his knees. Plus, he had power. You know, and you you, you just couldn't lay a ball in there because he could cowtail it out of the ballpark. You know, I give it a lot of credit to Billy Martin because he was an icon for us. Me, he. Uh, based upon, the, uh, you know, taught me the game, taught me the game the right way, taught me what the game means and what winning was all about. Ricky was fun to play with and he was tough to play against because he kept everybody on their toes and made people do things that they didn't want to do. When he stood at third base and held that bag over his head and said, now I am the greatest, Everybody was laughing and saying, wow, how, what an ego trip. I knew deep down inside, he knew he was, I knew he was, and the team actually did too.